that it's going to be very helpful for all of us to build up our immunity when we're done. We've got a handout here to we'll hand out at the prayer time. Let's begin and have prayer because our time is already cut short for tonight's meeting. Our gracious, loving Father, we do thank you that we can meet again. We know our days certainly are numbered as we see things happening with this COVID-19, but as we've been discussing, Lord, we don't we don't have the spirit of fear. We have the spirit of love and a sound mind in your word. And this is what we need. This is what Christ gives us. Uh, we're sad to see Bob and Francine not able to make it, minister unto them. Be with your people, Lord. May we use this as an opportunity to bring hope, as we were talking, to others who don't have this hope. These are signs of the end. Jesus is soon to come. We need to prepare for this. So bless us tonight. Give us your spirit and banish the powers of darkness. May we have that spirit of love and joy and peace in our hearts. Thank you for your forgiveness, cleansing us. May holy angels be here. Teach us what you have us to learn as we get going on this book, Revelation. We thank you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay. Amen. okay. So what we're going to do, um, we have just got started last week. Before we get to our homework, um, I want to just go over a couple things in chapter 1. It'll just take five minutes that we didn't finish up on last week. Uh, chapter 1, Revelation. There were two verses... In Revelation 1, that we are going to see the principle in these verses throughout the book. I'm just going to spend a couple minutes on this because we want to get to two, chapter 2. But in verse 2 and in verse 9, we see this phrase, the testimony of Jesus Christ. And we're going to see this concept come up throughout the rest of the book, especially near, near the end, that phrase is mentioned. What is meant by this testimony of Jesus? Ten Commandments, I think. Well, if you look at the verse, just prior to the testimony of Jesus, it says what? The Word of God. The Word of God. Mm -hmm. Typically, the Ten Commandments can be thought of the Word of God can be thought of as an amplification of the Ten Commandments. The testimony of Jesus is that God is love. Okay, now you're getting into the area that I wanted to focus on. You, you know the text in Isaiah, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not, so there you have both, the law and the testimony. That's what we're dealing with here. The testimony of Jesus is, is, is a very comprehensive term, but at it, 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 it a basic level, it's Jesus' testimony. And we're going to see this throughout the book, especially as we now get into chapter 2, because chapter 2 and 3, there are very few chapters in the Bible that have just Jesus' words. This is his testimony. And we remember from verse 1, Revelation 1.1, 1, 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him. So if, if God gave this revelation to Jesus, then where did it come from? From the Father. It came from the Father. So this revelation is obviously going to include... His testimony. But one other thing I wanted to mention. What's in verse 9? Do these words show up in verse 9? Right before that, Larry, what did it say? Oh, you're, <clears throat> you're from 
Ah. So John is saying he is our companion in what? Tribulation. What does tribulation usually bring? We talked about it last week in the assignment. Suffering. The suffering. Suffering. The testimony of Jesus is in the same verse. Yeah. Involves suffering. Human beings don't like to suffer. Stacy doesn't. <laughs> We flee from suffering. Because suffering involves pain. Pain. Self gets in the way big time. So, but we know that Jesus' testimony involves suffering and pain. So we're going to see this as we get into chapters 2 and 3. I just wanted to put this up here because keep this in mind as we go through the book. Because we're going to keep coming back to this theme. But you skipped the rest of it. Because of my focus was on, well, the rest of it talks about him being on Patmos. And no, it says companion and tribulation and kingdom and right. patience. Patience is what allows you to go through tribulation. And that's true. I didn't want to focus on that, but I'm glad you brought that up. That's what enables us, like you said, to go through it. And there's more there. Patience and a kingdom. There's much more we could could look at regarding that, but um, he starts out talking about, I'm your companion in tribulation. And yes, patience, it's actually endurance, patient endurance to get through it. Okay, so let's get, I'm going to hand out um, Matter of fact, I think I will wait. Let's do the homework summit first, and then I'll hand this out. Now, of those attending tonight, how many got through their assignment? I got so many things on my plate, it doesn't even get looked at. Because I don't consider Bible study. My Bible study is different. <laughs> I mean, it's Bible study, but, you know... I said, let the Lord lead me in that. I think my wife might have been the only one who got through it. I got through it. You got through it too? Yes, sir. Excellent. I had a couple of blanks. But. Well, keep in mind, we're not going through all seven churches tonight. We're just doing the first four. And next week, the next three. So you're, you've got a head start, Sarah. You will have less work to do. I, look, I wanted to look at the Nicolaitans and Wait, I don't and all even that, have the assignment. I looked it up before, but I didn't Good. look it up again. Good. I don't even have the papers from her last year. You don't have the papers? You don't have this chart thing? This one? No, I don't oh, that I have. You didn't get that, Larry? No, I have Didn't I hand that out last week? Oh, I didn't know you were talking about that. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah, I, I have that. that. Okay. I, that I was just looking yeah. at the wrong place for it. Yeah. So we're only going to go over the first four. Um, but before we get there, the homework assignment, number one, read Revelation lesson two and answer the couple blanks. Everybody makes sense of that? that? Was that straightforward? What is meant by the word Revelation? Revealing. Revealing, any other words, description you know, we can use? Yeah, it could be a prophecy if you want to say it, or it could be a, uh, what do you say, when you a vision? Okay, that could be. I was thinking of the word in uncovering, unveiling. There you go. Yeah, I've got disclosing, disclosing. communication. Well, yeah. I looked it up in the dictionary, that's one uh, God's disclosure. This was in the dictionary. God's disclosure of Himself to His creatures. Wow. Mm. Revelation. Yeah. One word defines it. Absolutely. To to human beings, it's a revelation of the character of God, which is character of love. And the one we learned this from he used to say, "Love loves for the sake of loving, and love can do nothing but love." 
in its basic underlying thing, that's true. God is love, and everything proceeds from His love. Even the destruction of the wicked is Without God, there wouldn't be any love. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Be a bunch of hateful people. So <laughs> that was clear. Without God, Satan wouldn't be around. Without God, we wouldn't be around. <laughs> and so the book, we need to look at the book of Revelation from God's perspective. All right, let's get into chapter 2. Matter of fact, what we need to do is what we did last week. Um, since we have less people, maybe we'll get through it quick. We need to read chapter 2. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. We can either have... Who are you skipping? Me. You don't get to read? And that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking, so <laughs> Well, so, how many churches are there in, in four? Well, in chapter two. two. So, oh, that's good Larry, we want, do you want to start or do you want to finish? It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. We'll start with you. Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, and Thyatira. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll start with you. Let's read. And then, so we'll have it fresh in our minds and then we'll discuss. Chapter 2, verse 1. We'll begin with you. Okay. And to the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holds, holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, and walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are, which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles that are not, and hast found them liars. How many verses? Go up to seven. Who <coughs> has borne, has patience, and for my name say has labored, and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember thou, therefore, from whence thou hast art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlesticks out of this place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou Hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, Nicolaitans. Mm -hmm. which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Larry. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things says the first and the last, who was dead and came to life. I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. Amen. And to the angel of the church of Pergamos write, These things says he who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast to my name and did not deny my faith even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr who was killed among you where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balaam who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Thus you also have those who hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come to you quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. 
He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, mm -hmm. and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it. And to the angel of the church of Thyatira write these things, says the Lord, says the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire and his feet like fine brass. I know your works, love, service, faith, and your patience. As for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you, because you allow that woman, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things like sacri and eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Indeed, I will cast her into a sick bed, and those mm. who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, unless they repent of their deeds. I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he who has I am he who searches the minds and hearts. I will give to each one of you according to your works. Now to you I say, and to the rest in Thyatira, as many as do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depths of Satan, and they say, I will put on you no other burden but hold fast what you have till i come and he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end to him i will give power over the nations he shall rule them with a rod of iron they shall be dashed to pieces like the porter's vessels <laughs> potter's vessels i'm sorry as i also have received from my father and I will give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Um, I'm, I'm curious, curious, Sarah, what, what version were you reading from? Uh, New King James. Okay, okay so, so it was the same as yours. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised, Larry, with all those blue boxes that that's the King James Bible. I didn't know. Where did you get your Bible from? Remnant. He's, he's remnant. I didn't know they made King James with all the... Yeah, they do. Oh, I thought it was just New King uh -huh. James. But I was reading, I said, that sounds very much like the word for word for my Bible. Yeah. Is that the remnant yeah. study Bible? Yeah. Yeah. I did not know they did that with the, the King James. I thought it was just New King James. It's expensive. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I know. Larry, you lost something. It, it, it's in the front of your Bible there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what we have here, we have these first four churches, and there is a lot of information. Now, I'll be straightforward. We'll get right to the point. When we come back, Lord willing, we have time to come back to this book one day. <laughs> you never know where you're going. We could spend a week on each church. There's so much in every church. Two months on all the churches. We're only going to spend two weeks, unfortunately, but it's because we need to get through this book quickly to get the big picture, and then we can come back with the detail. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. So, this chart that... you have filled out, was this helpful at all, kind of seeing the relationship with the churches and patterns and similarities? Well, it makes you really think about what you're reading. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Instead of like me, I just read it real fast. <laughs> Well, you got all the answers in there. It looks like you read it. Slow down. I had to go back and find the answer. So we see here some very exciting relationships with these churches. Now, keep in mind 
the chart with all the colors that we went over last week, you're going to want to be taking that out. Not now, but for the home assignment that, um, for the lesson study I'm going to be giving you. Each one of these churches has a different color bar, if you recall. The, I mean, you can pull out if you want to look at the chart now. They have a different color bar because they, they have meaning. Did you know that, in, did it strike you that in looking at these churches, Jesus speaks to them and says to each one, I know. I know, sir. I know what you're going through. I know, I know, I know. But each one is different. I know your works. Did it say it works in every one of the churches? Or was there any churches left out? Did they all say, I know their works? Yeah, he knew their works because they're all good. But, but, but before, before we get to the description of each church, did, it, did he say, I know your works in every church? Did that strike you as odd? This is how he, he addresses them? I know your works in every church. Is there a church? He says, I know where you're coming from and what you're, what's happening. That's all he's saying. He says, I am fully aware of what's going on in your life. Okay. So, so every one of the churches he addresses the same way he starts. I know. He has knowledge of each church. Which should be comforting to the churches. Uh, but I don't like the fact to be faithful on to death. <laughs> well, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, <laughs> well, let's just death of self. <laughs> so we have the description of the first four churches... To Ephesus, he's, what's the description? He holds a stubborn star. They lost their first love. Your description? No, no, the first box. Oh, oh, he holds seven stars. Yeah. He holds seven stars. He walks. Again, he's in charge. I've got you in the palm of my hand. And he's walking amidst these seven churches. And, and look, look at, at the, the next one. one. He's, He's the what? He's the first and the last. He's the first and the last. Mm -hmm. And, and look, look at the next one. one. Sharp sword and two edges. And, and for Thyatira, his eyes are like a flame of fire, feet like fine breath. So, the description of Christ is for a reason for each of these churches. And we won't look at the detail now, but each of these four churches has a tie. This description has a tie back to chapter one. Yeah. Did you pick that up, Sarah? Yeah, because it wasn't that interesting. They're describing He's there's describing what he's seeing. He's describing Jesus and all his attributes. So would you say that that's not by mistake? That's incidental. And then these are purpose. the words of Jesus. There's a purpose that there's a tie to each one of the description of Jesus to each church. That was fascinating. And he knows. Ephesus, he knows, works, labor, patience, and that they can't bear false prophets or apostles. Smyrna, tribulation, poverty, coming trouble. Pergamus, I know where you dwell, where Satan seed is. And it was fascinating to me that Thyatira, thy works, charity, service, faith. Now, I don't want to steal some thunder from the, the homework assignment. I don't want to steal some thunder, but there's some things in here that I have to be careful I don't give answers to because part of my assignment. Um, but once again, he knows. He knows what every church is going through. Um, I will borrow a little bit because we need to 
there are four applications to these churches. They were given to John to be sent to the churches in his day. There were seven in Asia Minor. That's the first application. Then these seven churches have to do with seven periods of time down through the last 2,000 years. They're the history of God's church. History of God's church. Then, what we're going to be mainly focusing on is the application for God's people today. Because all seven churches are here. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. And, and what, what, I don't, I don't want, want to take time now to do it, but we might cover it next week if we have a little time. All seven of these churches have to do seven steps I'm just, just putting, putting it out there, and you, you can, can think, think about this during the week. In the Christian's life. You've been thinking, thinking about that. Well, is we have some steps different in each church? No. You start with Ephesus. So and you go all the way down, church down church. Mm -hmm. and you come to, to Laodicea, and that's the completion of the seven steps in a Christian's life to maturity. Fascinating. We'll, we'll look, look at that, that maybe next week. week. So, so just, just be thinking, thinking about that. that. Um, <clears throat> now in the assignment, in the assignment, I asked about two words to look for. And it was question four. What were those two words? Repentance and faith. Mm -hmm. Repentance and faith. Was repentance, in, before we get to faith, was repentance mentioned in all the churches? Or the four churches since that when they're assigned. Is, Is there, there one, one missing? Council. Thunder Council, right? What, what church, church is missing? missing? Repent. Um, I've got the second one, but I took the other one. In other words, the word repentance is not mentioned in that church. In Smyrna. Smyrna. Okay, okay, Sarah, you, you have the privilege to give us the reason why. <laughs> since you answered. Well, let me read Shmurna again. Just read verse 10, I'll tell you why. Shmurna. Well, you want to help her out? <laughs> Please do. What, what does verse 10 say? It says, Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation in 10 days, which is 10 years. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the ten days. Well, well since, since she opened her mouth, so it was ten years, she needs to explain that. Okay. <laughs> uh, this during Nero's time. I'm, I'm sort of vague on this, but Nero basically persecuted the Christian church very much. So... so Bible prophecy, Larry, a day for a year, okay. 10 years, I think it was 2, 210, or 212 to 222 AD. My dates may be a little off. The church of Nero, the church of Nero, the church under Nero was persecuted very severely. So severely that Christ mentions it as like the epitome of suffering that the church would go through during the, 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 the next 1800 years. And you can read about it probably in Fox Books of, Martyr, Book of Martyrs. I'm sure there's some information online you can look for it. What, just type the text in and that will come up, websites you can go read. But 
Again, Again what, what are, are we, we dealing, dealing with? We don't have time this time to go through it, but each of the names of the seven churches mean something. So Smyrna, I'm not going to give you the name, what they mean. Holy, I'll go write it down. <laughs> How do you spell Smyrna? S-M-Y-R-N-A, according to this. Okay. Of all the seven churches, Smyrna suffered the most. The, 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 the church of Smyrna during that period of time. Which, by the way, is a key to this here. But that's a, a little hint. One of, the, one of the steps. But I'll say no So Smyrna suffered a lot. Did that help with the 10 days, 10 years? Yeah, well, the reason I ask is because in Daniel's a day for a year, when I didn't know about Revelation. Still applies, prophetic book. Oh, well, yeah. When we get to Daniel 12, uh, Revelation 12, 1260 days, years. 1260 years. So, yes, it's all applying, all the way. Okay, um, let's go on. So, the time to get away. Did okay, so we're we're dealing with we're dealing with repentance. That was easy to locate in the, the first four churches, except for Smyrna, right? Did any of the first four churches use the word more than once? From your from your study? Or no? I believe, I believe there's, there's at least, least one. one. Who, Who do you, you think, think it is? Laodicea. No, the, the first four. Area. The first four. Thyatira. Mm -hmm. Twice in verse Thyatira. 21 and 22. Twice in verse 21 and 22. That's not Thyatira. Oh, that is Thyatira. Yeah. Okay. Is it R? T-Y-A. T-H-Y-A. T-I-R-A. T-I-R-A. It's actually... I think it's mentioned more than twice. Yeah, I was just going to say it's three times. I think it's mentioned now, more than Now, there's a reason for that. Thyatira had some now, big problems. Now, there's a reason for that. Thyatira had some big problems. Big problems. Yeah. As you will notice, it is the most information of all the churches. As you will notice, it is the most information of all reason. the churches. It covered the longest period. For a good reason. It covered the longest period. But, and so the Lord has to but, really bring home. Yeah, three times. And so the Lord has repentance. to really bring home. Now, notice there's this woman there that. Is really notice, causing havoc on the church. There's this woman yes, there that is really causing havoc Jezebel. on the church. Larry, why do you think Jezebel. Jezebel would show up in this church? Larry, why do you think Jezebel would show up in this church? Where do we hear Jezebel's name from in the Bible? Where do we hear Jezebel's name from? Prophetess of Baal. Prophetess of Baal. And so you want to go back and study what happened under Ahab and Jezebel. And so you Jezebel want to go back and study rain. what happened under Ahab and Jezebel. Rain. Get a better understanding of what's going then, on here. Get a better understanding. Who was in charge, on. Ahab or Jezebel? <laughs> Who was in charge, Ahab or so Jezebel? Larry. <clears throat> so Larry. So <clears throat> Larry. Bible prophecy. It's a church. Bible prophecy. So the woman equals. So the woman. The church equals. 
Man. The church. Equals state. Man. Equals state. Well, where do you get that so when you, where do I get this concept from? So I'm when you, in the church, but I never heard where do I get this concept from? State. In prophet, prophetic terms. Are you talking about the in country? prophet prophetic terms? A symbol of man is a symbol of the state. A symbol of man words, is a symbol of the state. In other words, you're not. They didn't have states back then. That's why I'm asking. Are you talking about a country? Like the government. 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 Man is the head of the state. Government. So when you put a woman man is the head in of the charge, state. so when you put prophetically a, woman a church in charge of the state, charge, we're going to have problems. Prophetically, a church in Look charge of the state. The dark ages. We're going to have problems. Who was in charge? Look at the Europe governments the dark or the church? Who was in charge? Yeah. The governments or the church? Ahab and Jezebel, Old Testament. Ahab and Jezebel. So this is Old what's Testament. going on, and that's why this period is during the so dark ages. So this is what's going so on, and that's why this years. period is during the dark ages. So long as uh, thousands. There's some other things that are going to come out in, uh, in uh, the homework. There's um, some other things assignment. that are going to come out in, uh, regarding in this homework, church um, the assignment. But I don't want to again this take my thunder because I want. But I don't want to further. again take my thunder. But there is a reason why. But this there is, is the, a the strongest language is given to this church. This is the, the strongest language is given. But there's to this also church. some good things. I know thy works, thy. But there's also some good things. I know thy works. Charity thy, or love, faith, service. Charity or love, and there faith, works. service. If this is the worst church, they got a lot of things going for them. At least. If this is the worst church, appears. they got a lot of things going for them. At least, it appears. Is there a strong rebuke? Is there a strong rebuke? Strong rebuke. We don't have time strong to go into detail. I'm just want to get back to this theme. So three times we see you need to repent. want to get back to this theme. So three times. By the way, there's a probationary status. Strongly By the way, there's a probationary status. Strongly implied here. Did you see that? Exactly. And she did not repent. Exactly. And she did not repent. When he says sexual immorality, I'm assuming that he's when talking he about worshiping false gods. It's false probably gods. both on the lips, physical it's level. It's probably but it's truly both it's on the spiritual on the level lips, as well. Physical level, but it's truly it's sexual the immorality. Well. Uh, the, the King James uses the word fornication. Immorality, fornication um, spiritually would, would, would be what? Fornication. Fornication You're on the right track. Would, would be what? Yeah. You're it was Jezebel right. who calls herself a prophetess. Idolatry was Jezebel worshiping idolatry. in Old Testament. Idols. Was Jezebel worshiping in Old Testament idols? Except they repent of their deeds. Except they repent of their deeds. The church never did repent of her deeds. Yeah. The church. Well, was that the church during the time when now. they changed like the images of, Mary, uh, now. You know, of the goddesses to Mary and that sort of thing? Well, image, image worship came in during this time. But they changed well, image, the, yeah, image they worship changed came so in that during it would this be pal 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 palatable to pagans joining the yeah. Christian church. Well, uh, that's actually entered during yeah. Christmas. Well, uh, that's actually time. entered during Pergamos. It got worse during that time. It just time. grew worse. It got it darker. Got that time. Pergamos is actually where it we begin to see darker. this happen. Pergamos is actually where we begin to see this happen. Church State joined at the Edict of Milan. Church State joined at the Milan. Type in Edict of Milan, it will give you a history of Church State combination. Edict of Milan, it will give you a history of Church State combination. That happened in 530. That happened in 323. That's when Constantine joined the church. Or no, 323. And then that's in 538 is when this church came into being. And then but in 538 now notice, is when this church came into being. But I don't want to rush notice, there, but I want to at least bring it up now. I don't want to rush there, at but the I want to At the end of each church, bring it up what does now. it say? To him that... At the end of each church, comments. what does it say? So that to must mean that. there's hope for each church. Mm -hmm. So that must mean there's hope for each church. I don't think ever takes away our hope because he always hopes we will make it. He we'll come back. Truth, we'll, we'll come back. Correct. Now we'll come back to that in a moment. But I want to focus Correct. on this. Now we'll other come word, back to that faith. in a moment. But I want this to focus on this. This was a little trickier to see. Word, faith. It didn't jump out. This was a little trickier repentance. to see. It didn't jump but out. But faith is mentioned in at least three of the first four. 
But faith is mentioned in at well, least Smyrna three had, or she couldn't have suffered. How do you know Smyrna had? How do you is know? Is the word faith Smyrna mentioned? Had. You want the word is faith. the word faith mentioned? It's not there, but something close to it it's is. It's not there, but something close to it is. Oh, I didn't you even think of that one. That will work. Oh, yes. I didn't even think of that one. That will work. Yes. It's actually in I Know Thy Works. It's actually it's in, in text. I Know Thy Works. It's in that. What does 19 say, Larry? I Know Thy Works. What does 19 say, Larry? Oh, you're at that time. Mm -hmm. I'm back oh, in you're Smyrna. in Thyatira. Oh, Smyrna. I'm back in Smyrna. Yeah, you're right about faith being in Thyatira. That's obvious. Yeah, you're right so about faith in being four. in Thyatira. That's obvious. But look That's at Smyrna. Smyrna. Where is it in Smyrna? It's in verse 9. But look at Smyrna. Where is it in Smyrna? It's in verse 9. And 10. I didn't even see that. Sarah brought that out. Mm -hmm. And 10. I didn't even see that. So Sarah it is brought that out. Because the word faithful is mentioned. You said it's in So nine. it is in all four. It's in verse 9. Or 3. I must not have it in my translation. It's in verse 9. The word rich. Oh, rich? But you are rich? The word rich? Put a cross-reference in your notes to James 2. Put a cross-reference in your notes to James 2. Rich in faith. Ah, rich in faith. Ah, rich in faith. That's what no, Jesus no, this world's right. goods. They were poor and they were being persecuted. But they're rich in faith. The goods they were poor and they were being persecuted. And as Sarah pointed out in 10, faith. be thou faithful. And as Sarah pointed out in 10, full of faith be thou unto faith. death. You're going to get it right. Well, we're full of faith Now, what death. church do you think? Larry, you hit it right on Thyatira. That's the other now, one. Which church do you which think? Larry, you hit it right on Thyatira. That's the other one. Which church do you think does not have it? Smyrna does. Smyrna does. And Larry said Thyatira, so then it would have to be... Who doesn't have it? Who doesn't have it? First one. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it says that you've lost your first love. What else does it talk about first in What else? Does it talk about first? Well, your in works, your Ephesus. labor, your patience, and you cannot bear those who are evil. Is there another first something? Is there another first something? And you hate somebody. Tested those who are apostles and are not known to them liars. Second verse. What's it say? I know they work, so they labor. What's it say? But there's two times the first is something it mentioned. She mentioned there's two times the first, first love. is something. Get back mentioned. to your first love and what? First love. Is there Get another back first, to your first love and what? Is there another first, 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 first something? First works. First works. First works. First works. How do you have first works without faith? How do you have first Why works without have faith? First works. What do you have? Works. I know your works. What do you have? Five. And do it says and do that first work, yeah, and do the first works for all somebody quickly. So Larry, if you were trying to explain this to somebody, so Larry, what would be if the you were first? To explain we know what the somebody, first love is. That would be what. What would be the first? We know what the first love is. That would be again. what. That's when you're born again. You get again. Get back to soul winning. You lost that's when you're that born first again. You get again. Get joyful back to experience. Winning. You've lost that. What about first words? It's joyful What's, experience. How does that tie in with the first love? What about love? first words? What's, how does that tie in with the first love? Turn in your Bibles. John 6. Turn in your we'll Bibles. We'll just spend a moment there. John 6. We'll just spend a moment there. John 6. John 6. This is six. a great verse that you can use on people when they ask you. This is you. a great verse that you can use on people when they John ask six, you. When they ask you. John 6, when they ask you, the relation between faith and works. The relation between Six, faith and works. 629. This is when he's talking about the bread. This is when he's talking about 5,000. 
the bread. Jesus said in 27, labor not for the meat which perisheth, but that meat which endures to everlasting life. Jesus said in 27, labor not for the meat which but that meat which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto Then said they unto him, what shall we do? Father has sealed. Then said they unto him, what shall we do? That we may do. What work did Jesus answer? This is the work of God. Did Jesus answer? That you. This is the work of God. That you. Believe. Believe. Wow. Believe. So the first works is tied with belief. Wow. So the first works is, is tied with faith? belief. Is that akin so to faith? So faith is actually in Ephesus too. It's so faith is actually in Ephesus too. It's, in the it's just not. So why are we doing this exercise in faith and repentance? So why are we doing this you exercise in faith and repentance? remember what I said in verse 4? The question 4? You remember what I said in verse 4? What did I say in question 4 of the homework? What did I say in what question 4? I, I gave a Bible verse and I gave a spirit prophecy what reference? reference. I, gave two, I gave a Bible verse what was and it? I gave a spirit prophecy reference. What was it? Uh, you mean the spirit of prophecy? Yeah. Uh, I said page 421. Yeah. Of? Third paragraph of Great Controversy. Did of? anybody look up that statement? And, the, and I wrote down this. Did anybody covenant. look up that statement? Uh, the new covenant, the sins of the repentant are by faith placed on Christ. That's what I wrote. I, don't have, I didn't write down the whole thing. Text. No, but it's in re reference to the two words, repentance yeah, and repentance faith. No, and faith. but it's in re reference to the two words, repentance It's during the investigative judgment, before God can, the investigative Christ can blot judgment. out the sins, they must investigate the books. Christ can blot out the sins, they to must determine investigate the books. Who, through to determine repentance who, and faith, through are entitled repentance to the benefits and of faith his atonement. Are entitled to the benefits of his atonement. So... This is why repentance so, and faith is so important. And Jesus this is why addresses repentance these, and faith is especially so important. repentance, Jesus addresses in five these, of the seven churches. Especially repentance in five of the seven churches. And faith, of the first four, and faith, of the it's first mentioned four, in three of them, and it's hidden, it's but it's there in the first one, too. Because we hidden, need both repentance and faith. And I know you're going to love this both one, repentance uh, and faith. Stacey. Repentance, if we think of this repentance in terms of the sanctuary, repentance would occur in which compartment? If we think of this in terms of the sanctuary, repentance would occur in which compartment? So when you bring the offering, period. The very first one. Which, what, what compartment is the first one? Because you're repentant. What, what compartment is the first one? What's that compartment called? Our court. Courtyard. Compartment called? So then where would Courtyard. we find faith? So then where would we find faith? Yes, it is the same spot, but where yes, else do you find more faith? Spot, but where else do you find more faith? When he's praying, praises. Sorry. Big sanctuary. Where do you exercise Big faith sanctuary. mainly? In which where compartment? Where do you exercise faith mainly? In which compartment? I think it takes faith to just trust him. Hello. Did you bring the kids? No. You are looking really good. Well, I didn't know how you were looking before, but I... Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my. Better late than never. So where do you Better find faith in the sanctuary? So where do you yes, find in the faith first compartment. in the sanctuary? Yes, in the first compartment. But where do you go from the first compartment? But where do you go from the first Auntie. compartment? Hi, Auntie. I'm Sarah. I see faith in the office. Oh, my. Oh, my. I was hoping we would have somebody who would be picking up. I was hoping we would have somebody Courtyard. who would be picking up. What's the next compartment? Courtyard. Holy What's place. the next compartment? Holy place. Isn't that where we exercise faith? Holy place. Isn't that where we exercise faith? Yes, Stacy's right. You have to exercise faith here. Yes, Stacy's right. But in the you Christian life, faith. where do you really exercise faith? But in the Christian life, lifetime? where do you in really exercise faith through your whole lifetime? In what I thought she would jump on this because she's always so 
prone to I thought she would jump on this because she's always so <laughs> prone to go to sanctification. It's in the holy place. That's where we grow. It's in the holy place. Yeah, we got to keep coming back to the cross, Whoa. but we don't stay here at the cross. Yeah, we got to keep coming back. We to take the cross, cross with us in here, here but it's cross. a growth in grace. And take the cross place. with us in here. And what are the? Do we need to go over and revisit the three furnitures? And what are the? Do we need to go over and yeah. revisit the three furnitures? You know the three furnitures. The lampstand and the table shelf. You know the three furniture. Do we exercise faith with all three of those? The do we God, exercise bread. faith with all three of those? The word we, of God. We go bread. to the. Prayer. prayer life? Then we, we go to Do we have an exercise faith? I think so. Prayer life? Do we exercise our faith exercise letting our faith? light shine? I think so. Do we exercise our faith letting our light shine? So Jesus is dealing with this in chapter 2 and 3. So Jesus is dealing with this in chapter 2 and, we're just and 3. We're chapter 2 tonight. And we're just looking at chapter 2 tonight. Repent. We, I don't know if you got a chance to do Repent. That. That we, so we have, have to repentance. So we have repentance. On all or three of the four of the first churches. On all but we also or have three of the four of the first faith. churches. But we also have As faith. we have seen. Because both are needed for we have seen. salvation. Because both are needed and that was for the point, especially salvation. with a GC statement 421. That's the point. Before he can, he can blot out before sins, he, can, he, he has to investigate blot the books. Out sins, and in the, and in the investigation the books, of books, he's looking for and, what? And in the investigation two of books, primary for what? Things. Two primary that entitle things. us to the benefits. That entitle us to the benefits. Is atonement. Larry, if you don't have this and that, you're not getting it. Larry, if you don't have this and so that, in all you're four not churches, it. he told them to hold on to the. Yeah, we haven't even gotten there yet. We just kind of been. Yeah, we haven't even gotten there yet. Here, we just. But yeah, that would be under uh, the council, or. But yeah, promise. that would be under uh, the council, the council or the promise. The council, probably. Let's look at the council now that you brought it up, Yvette. Let's look what at do the we council, have for the now council. That you brought it up, Yvette. What do we have for the council? Well, we have under Ephesus, repent, remember, return to well, first we have love, under first Ephesus, words. Repent, remember, council return under to Smyrna, first love, don't first fear. Words. Be council faithful to death. Under Smyrna, don't fear. Pergamum, repent. Be faithful to death. Mm -hmm. Pergamum. It's repent. very strong here. Thyatira, repent. Strong. Hold fast. But That's as we were looking, hold back. Uh, if you but go up to we Smyrna looking, under praise and commendation, uh, you are rich you for you got here. Under praise and commendation, uh, ladies, you are rich for you got here. Uh, we were ladies, looking at Smyrna, rich in we faith. You can write a cross reference Smyrna, down to James two faith. You can write a cross five. Down it says James rich in faith. Two. Jesus didn't say faith because he so wanted us faith. to do a little digging. Jesus didn't say but faith Smyrnites he were us rich to do a in digging. faith. That's why but they were enduring Smyrnites the suffering. Smyrnites were rich in faith. That's why they were enduring. And of course, Pergamos suffering. says, "You hold fast and my." Of course, Pergamos says, "Is it name you or faith?" Hold fast my. My faith. Is it name or faith? You will fast my faith and not deny my. It didn't say the well, faith. fast my right. faith. My faith. So that's the faith my, of Jesus. Right. Right. And then, of course, faith. Thyatira right. says faith. I know your word, charity, service, faith. I'm sorry, what was the cross reference in James 2 5. Where James, James says, 2, 5. We are to be rich in faith. Where James says, so we there we have, and of, stated, so there we have and of course Ephesus, it's not stated. So there we have, but of course Ephesus, if you look at stated, first works, if you in the reference before you came in, first works, in John six, what was the verse? Came in that. John six, what was the verse? On which one? Twenty nine. Was that the verse we looked at, Larry? Twenty nine. John six twenty nine. Regarding first works, John your, six twenty nine. Your works is. Tied Regarding to first works, your, your works. No, remember when we looked at John six to show what our first no, works is. No, remember when we looked at John six. The Jews six? asked him, "What shall John we work six, that we may John six twenty nine? Work the works of God. We work yeah. that we and he may. said, "This this is the work, work of God that you God. And he said, believe. "This is the work of God that you." So there we have believe God time work so to faith, and that's why he God says here to Ephesus first. 
And works. that's why he says You need to get back to exercising your faith. That works by love, Paul says, and purifies the soul. That works by love, Paul says, and purifies the soul. It's Galatians 5, 6. So that's what I was mainly focusing on here because so that's what I was this is going to show up again in the last three churches. This is going All to show up again in the last three churches. All, All right. Our time is running down. All right. Of course, the, the promise, we down. all love the promise at the, the end. Of course, the promise, we all love the promise Unto the church, at the end. unto him that overcometh. Unto the church, and unto him that overcometh. Each of the churches. And the first one, of you're going to get to eat of the... The first line. one, mm -hmm. the second one, you the, will not be hurt by the... Second the second one, you will not be hurt by the... The third one, you will get to eat of the, the third hidden... One, Man. You will get Man. to manna eat of the hidden Mary had a little manna. Aha moment on that here some days ago when she Mary had a little aha she brought some things from my mind some days ago when she was studying that. She brought some things from my mind. Did you like to share Yeah. Well, who the hidden, hidden manna is? Hidden manna. About the hidden manna. Hidden, hidden manna. That's hidden Jesus. manna. About Jesus the hidden is the hidden manna. manna. Where do we see the hidden manna? Jesus is the hidden manna. Where do we see the hidden manna in the sanctuary? Mm-hmm. Most holy. Most holy. And what's in the hidden man? Or what's with the hidden man? And what's in the hidden man? A white. What's with the hidden man? No, I'm going back. A white stone. A white stone. A white stone. Was that the thing that you had the aha moment about? Well, they both were. I mean, because the Christ, the hidden manna in John 6, 49 through 51 and verse 53 calls Jesus as the hidden manna. He's the hidden manna. So that was interesting. And then the white stone, I was trying to think of where that was in the sanctuary. Well, it would have been on the ephod. It would have been yes. on his, on his, with all the stones. Yes. And there are. Huh? They have the names on it. Uh-huh, there's a name on it. And so I thought, oh, okay, so then that has to you know, that has to be where that stone, he's going to give us that stone, which is on him. Yes. And I believe it's the same. Is yes. that the one that says you get a new name? Mm -hmm. and I believe it's the same. Is that mm -hmm. the one that there says you're you get gonna a get a new name one day? There, you're going to get a new name one day. <laughs> Stay faithful to the end. So, hidden manna, Stay faithful white to stone, why white, white? So, hidden manna, white stone, why white? white? Fury, yeah. And a new name. Fury, yeah. Uh, and a new name. Thyatira. Uh, if they overcome, what do they do? Thyatira. If they overcome, what do they do? No, that was Ephesus. Power over the nations. To rule all nations. No, that was Ephesus. Power over the nations. To rule all nations. Since you brought it up, you bet. Since you brought it up, you bet. Rod of iron. Okay, then. Rod of iron. Tell us, Yvette, what is meant by the rod of iron? Tell us, Yvette, what is meant by the Are they going to rule with an iron fist? Are they going to rule with an iron fist? Why would Jesus say you're going to rule with a rod of iron? Why would Jesus say you're going to rule with a rod of iron? Now, I want Bible. Don't give me a pin. Now, I want Bible. Where would you take somebody to show them what the rod of iron is? Where would you take somebody to show them what the rod of iron is? You should have these texts right here. You should have these texts right here. Okay. Turn, turn in your Bibles. Okay. Turn, turn in your Bibles. Turn in your Bibles to Isaiah. Turn in your Bibles to Isaiah, chapter. Isaiah, chapter. Isaiah chapter four, I believe it is. Four, I believe it is. Is it chapter eleven? Is it chapter eleven? Oh my no, it's chapter eleven, verse one. No, it's chapter, chapter 11, 11, verse 1. And there shall come forth a rod. Chapter 11, verse 1. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of And there's another place where it says that Jesus will rule with a rod of iron. Isaiah, yeah, that's oh, Revelation. Yeah, that's Revelation. You can. You can. 
when you can. are raising children, you can. if when you are raising the lines are drawn, if they know where they are safe, they know I can go thus far, and the young that I'm probably going to get in trouble. When we realize that God is that he is all knowing and he is all powerful and he is all loving. The reason he draws a line is because that's our security. That's our fence that protects us from hurting others. From being hurt. Hurting others. From being hurt. There's one other verse. Go down to verse four. There's one other verse. Go down to verse four. 11.4. That was the what verse I was looking for. I had to look it up. But with righteousness shall he judge verse? the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth. And with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. So are we saying that the rod of iron is... What's coming out of Jesus' mouth? What's coming out of Jesus' mouth? Word of God. Those are all correct answer, but this Those picture are all correct that we answer, have here, but on the this surface, picture that like we have here, force. On the surface, <coughs> sounds like force. Well, especially if you read the next portion of it, because it says, "As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers." As the vessels of a potter shall. How is how is Christ going to rule? How is how is Christ going to rule? The law his of kingdom? love applies to everybody. The you law are of what? To love your neighbor yeah. as yourself. The, the law of what? Of what? The, the law of what? You love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, and you love your Okay. So. Okay. The rod is the so, word of love. The rod is the word. But it says it's a rod of iron. What's what, but it what, says it's a is, rod of iron. By the way, I'm going to tell you right now. What, what, what is... By the way, I, I'm going to tell you right now. Three of you, I don't... We're going to need it for the book of Revelation. To pull the symbols. Some We're going to need it for the book of Revelation. To pull the symbols. Some of you might... Well, let's see. Did anybody so you'll need a house one. In the fire? And you can and just, just put a donation so in So you'll need one. Foundation. And you can just put a donation in the... Foundation. You've got one. Whatever your donation. We've got three right here. You've got one. So we've got, more. We've got, we've got more three right here. More. So this is your copy. We got more if you need you more. You have one. You have one. This is your Stacey. copy. Stacy doesn't have one. one. I may not have, have that Stacey. notebook, but if that's Mrs. White, I have it. No. They're, they do have Simple. Mrs. White's quotes in there too. It's all spirit, prophecy, and Bible. That's all it is. And Greek and Hebrew. It's all spirit, prophecy, and Bible. Spirit, and Bible. And Greek and Hebrew. You're you're packed, so I'm really sorry. You're you're packed, so I'm really sorry. You'll get one out. So if but, we look up in the handy um, dandy simple you'll, you'll book here, out. and we look so at if we iron, look up in the handy guess what iron book comes book out to be? And we look at iron, guess what iron comes out to be? Iron of heat and clay. Iron is a symbol. Early writing says for the Ten Commandments. Iron is a symbol. Early writing. So he's going to rule with the rod, the so word of love. So he's going to rule the law with of the love. rod, the word of love. You never saw that before, did you, Larry? You never saw so that before, his enemies, at the brightness of his coming, what happens to the wicked? So his enemies, they run to at the brightness of his coming, what happens to the wicked? They, run they will be crushed because of guilt. They will be crushed. And they can't face him, so they run to the Because of guilt. I and they like can't face him, so they run the Bring this in now, because it, it just it came at the same time. But there is a quote here from Desire of Ages 641, and I have read that book once, and I've listened to it over and over and over. But I, I, this had never struck home, and, and it doesn't really apply to us, but it applies to our family members, and we need to share it. It says, in the great judgment day, day, those who have not worked for Christ, who have drifted along, thinking of themselves, caring for themselves, will be placed by the judge of the whole earth with those who did evil. Because it was all self-love. 
There was no love for others. They received the same condemnation. Yeah. So if, if we allow our children to think that they can go through life never helping other people, you can. You're not going to be in heaven. Because the law of heaven is the law of love, service. Because the law of heaven is the law of love. <laughs> desire to serve others. Okay. Yes. We For desire the, to serve others. So, okay. Yes. We're looking at um, Revelations, and we're looking at um, the promise, and they shall rule with the rod of iron. And then we're, we've gone to Isaiah 11 and 4, and it says, But the righteousness shall be judged and reproved with equity for the meek of the earth, and he shall smite them with the rod of his mouth. I'm not seeing how that tells us that the rod of iron is... Yeah. Iron is a symbol of Ten Commandments. We just showed yeah, that from okay. the statement. Iron yeah. is a symbol of Ten Commandments. We just Rod. showed that from the statement. It's a scepter. Rod. A scepter. A rod is a scepter. A scepter. A rod is a scepter. Power. Patriarchs and Prophets 251. Power. Patriarchs and Prophets 251. But his Isaiah word, word is his word. word. And what is the word but of God? His word is, is it not the love of God? And what is the word of God? Is it not the love of can, God? Do we have to, is that too hard of a jump? Can, do to we say have that to, the word of God is, the is word that of love? too hard of a jump to well, say that the word of God is the word of love? Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, body, soul, and strength, and love thy neighbor as thyself. So isn't the word of God an amplification of the Ten Commandments? We so isn't okay, the word of God an amplification of the Ten that, Commandments? We already so said that, and it's all about. Out of his mouth, we're saying it's the word. So at the second coming, I'm giving you a, a word picture. So at the and second speaks, coming, I'm giving you a, a word picture. And the dead rise. And he speaks. And the wicked flee to the and rocks. The dead Why rise. are they running from him who is And the wicked off. flee to the rocks. Why the are they wrath running of the from lamb. Him Hide us from the off. wrath of the lamb. The wrath Revelation of the lamb. Six, Hide us from the wrath of the lamb. Why? Revelation but six, the righteous seven. are welcoming him. Why? But because the righteous his love are welcoming him. in their hearts. Because the his wicked, love has been sealed in their no, hearts. No, we can't stand to We're see the wicked and the ungodly. No, we can't stand to see his face. Are you still... Well, I agree with everything are that you're still saying. I just don't see it coming out of the verse. It's, it's not just out of that verse. That's just one verse. It's not just out of that verse. That's just one verse. I can give you some other verses. Yeah, it's in the Bible symbols book. Yeah, it's in the Bible Symbols book. Well, how did we get on this anyway? I'm confused. Was it part of the churches we've been studying? Mm -hmm. Where, which yeah. Rod of iron is in thy tower. Yeah. The end that overcometh. Well, I rod of iron is in Rule with a rod of iron. The end overcometh. Yeah. Well, I give to the Also, rule is there, with a rod of iron. Uh, Stacy there brought this up. Also, Revelation there, 19. Uh, Stacy brought this up. Is there, isn't Revelation there a phrase that he will rule? Over, there's the rod is there, of iron. Isn't there a phrase that he will rule? Is, it, is there over, the rod of Texas says that in Revelation 19? Is there a text that says that? Revelation 19? Revelation 19? 19? Is that what you said? Yeah. 19? Great white throne judgment? Yeah. Verse 15? He shall rule them with a rod of Verse iron. Verse 15? How is he Christ going to rule, them rule with his a rod kingdom? Of iron. How is Christ going to rule his kingdom? He doesn't rule it's with kind of his kingdom. He doesn't rule with Revelation force. 19 what? 15. 15. I agree with you. I just, you know, I, I'm not seeing it. I agree with you. I just, you know, I, I'm not smacking it in the face. So. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword. The, the way, yeah. He himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the wine for us. So you have to ask, how is he going to... Run so you have to ask, how is he going to run his government in heaven with the Father? Is the rule of mouth the Lord? Is, is there not a text that says in that Out same chapter? Mouth goes, I think it's is, the is, next, is there not a text that says in that same chapter? 12, I think it's the next. It's go down to uh, verse 12. 13 of 19, chapter 19, he was clothed with the vesture dipped of in 19, blood. 19, chapter 19, he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the... The word of love. 
Because it obviously there's only two possible answers. Because it obvious there's only force. two possible answers, and it's certainly not four. But he uses this strong language, I believe. But he uses this strong language, I believe, all the way back with the seven churches, and then again Revelation 19. At this the is the coming, power of to love. Show this is I'll the power of love. With the word of love. I'll rule them with a rod, the word with the word of love. The law of love. The word of the I didn't want to make too much on that. The law of love. I didn't want to make too much okay. on that, but I so we let me hand out our assignment because our time okay. is gone. Okay, so we um, let me hand out. So what our we have is our time's gone. We have the. Um, um, so what we have. We've done the first four churches, the, um, and we've really kind of just skimmed over. We've like done the I first four churches, and we've really kind of skimmed over. Like I said, we could have spent a whole segment on each church. We could have spent a whole segment on each church. She's writing, so I'll give that to you. She's writing, so I'll give that to you. Auntie, did you want one? Auntie, did you Bob and Francine? Yeah, I'm going to see them tomorrow. Bob and Francine? Do you know if they've got a hole puncher? Do you know if they've got a hole puncher? Do they have a hole puncher? No. Do they have a hole puncher? It should be two. So, it should be two. There's a couple things that we went over here. I knew that before you asked. There's a couple things that we went over here. What was this the first name? The witch. Lucifer's name. What was his name? The for, uh, the shiny son of the son of the morning. Son of the son of the morning. How many users? How many users? All right, just a couple things before we wrap things up. All right, just so a couple things. Basically, your your assignment for this up. week is just carrying so through. So basically, your your assignment for up. this week is just three. carrying through to chapter three. Well, we up. Over two, but three. Three. But I want to go over just a couple things. What we went over two, but applying. Number at but the bottom. Notice I talk here about repentance at face. Number at the bottom. At the bottom. Notice I that. talk here about repentance. But I go just at the bottom. A little bit kind deeper. Of over that. But I go just and a deeper. You see the question at the top. And I don't you think see we the covered, question at the top? top of page two. I don't think we covered at the top of page two. Tell us in your own words, based on reviewing your study. Tell us in your own words, based on reviewing your study, the two the churches, we looked at one, the two that does not have the word repentance. We looked at one, that There's does not have the word repentance. There's another one in the last chapter. So the question is, why? Why do these so the churches is, not have repentance? Why? Why you be thinking about that? Not have and then, of course, um, I think the rest that? of it is pretty straightforward. And then, of course, um, I think the rest of it is pretty straightforward. But if any of you have any questions, you just feel free to. But if any of you have any questions, you just feel free to. And then we have a little thing down, down there with the seven, because there's a relationship between all seven churches and the three angels. Because there's a relationship between, between, all, seven the relationship the between all seven churches and the three And that's what that is. Messages. Little exercises all about. And that's what that is. So you'll see that down there. Little exercises all about. So you'll see that down there. star in verse 27. Oh. The newer versions use. The newer versions use. But but this is this is a. I know where this. But but this is this is a. Some of the newer versions mix up. Some of the newer versions. Some of the newer versions. Same language that is applied to Satan. And they use the same language that is applied to Satan. Using the same language. And they use the same verbiage in Revelation two. And they use. The same well, verb. Yeah, that's, right. that's, right. In the New King that's James, it says, How are you falling from but, heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? But that, son of the morning. But that 28 would be Revelation son of the morning. 16, which is, He's the morning star. If you look up Revelation 22, 16. Son of the morning and morning star. Is not well, morning star. 22, 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah, the son of the morning is not the same, but no. some of the new versions. Yeah, and the son of the morning is not the same. Phrase. But some of the new versions. Jesus. And that is confusion. Phrase. Because 22, 16. Now you have and that is one referring to Satan. Because now says he is the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. So that's referring to Christ. Correct. Correct. Didn't say son of the morning, he's mm -hmm. the bright and morning star. Right. Didn't say son of the morning, now, he's the bright and morning star. Thing on that. Now just uh, a of quick course, you bet you weren't here on the morning this. You bet you weren't here on the morning. Sixteen. But the morning star. Sixteen. 
But the morning star. Is it Isaiah 22. No, 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 Revelation 22, 16. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> I'm going, what? She's lost. <laughs> Thyatira, this is the She's last lost. verse. Thyatira, right? Mm -hmm. Thyatira. What period, this this period does this end during the long dark ages? What period does this end? The next church is Sardis, which we'll get to next week. But Jesus ends by saying, I am the bright morning star. Who is the morning star of the Reformation? Oh, Wycliffe. Who is the morning star of the Reformation? It's not by mistake. He ends this church because the very next church deals with the Reformation age. church because the very next church deals with the Reformation age. See how the Revelation works in the Revelation. So that's what we get into when we'll, we'll, and we'll look at Sardis. Dealing with so that's what we get into when we'll, we'll, and we'll and look at the Sardis last two dealing with the Reformation. And then the last two churches. Okay. So this wraps up our, okay. our um, study this for wraps tonight. Up our, I mentioned about our, um, this book, Sarah, you've got one. Yeah. I mentioned you've got one. one. This book, so, Sarah, you've got one. I'm sorry, yours is back. You've got one. So, is this one better than the others around? He can, he can always get one. Yes, yes, he can, yeah, yeah, that's just true. give it to somebody over just there. Just give it to somebody over there. Yeah, 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 that's true. And I'll give you one for Just give it to somebody over there. They don't have one. It's yours. There's got burned up. I'll get you another one. I have another one in the room. Yeah, there's got burned up. So we'll give you another one before you leave. Bible symbol book. That Bible symbol, yeah. 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 Bible symbol book. I don't know. It's not. You don't have that one. It's not this one. That's that's for Revelation, and it has well, it has all the verses and the spirit of prophecy. Well, it has all the. You can look up. Those are all symbols. Mm -hmm. You can look up. Those are all symbols. Yeah. Okay, that brings our study to a close tonight, and. Um, we will uh, continue, Lord willing, next week. Um, we just found out today by the president, people cannot meet more than 10 in a group. So I think we're under. Can you believe that? Oh, yeah, it's getting bad. The president of the United States.